Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at how to basically have a, an updater which checks your Spigot page to see if somebody is using the most recent version of your plugin. Now I know I said this video would be an extension off of the player leveling, but I figured that everyone's going to be using a different uh, like rank system or um, permission system so that would be kind of stupid for me to show one permission system but basically you would just have to learn the permission your permission plugins API and then pretty much apply it the same way we applied the um, the levels and stuff like that um, so anyways we're gonna get started here so once again all the code will be available for you guys on github I'll actually have this private uh, string key link down in the description because this is gonna be really important uh, and it's super long and I don't really expect you to try and copy it uh, letter for letter off of this page because um, I know sometimes I'm a little late to uh, uploading the source code and the reason for that is because I want you guys to sort of try it before you just go ahead and copy all of the code but anyways let's go ahead and get started so we're just going to create a private void and we're just going to call this version checker and then inside of this what we're going to need to do is we need to go ahead and say HTTP URL connection and this is going to be our connection to our to the Spigot uh, API website. So uh, then we got to instance it over this. And we're going to say new URL. Inside of this URL is going to be HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash www.spigotmc.org slash API slash general dot PHP. Then what we're going to do at the end of this is we have to open that connection. So we're going to say dot open connection and we're good with that. And what am I missing here? Oh, right. We have to surround this on try and catch. So just go ahead and surround that with try and catch. It's going to be IO exception. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say connection dot set do output and true. This is basically just saying if we want this as this connection as an output and then we're going to say reset request method. And this is just going to be post with all capitals. Then we're going to say connection dot get output stream, which is basically just getting all the information and dot write. And then basically what we're going to do inside here is we're just going to say key plus. And now we need one more thing here before we can do this. So we're basically going to need uh, your spigot plugin ID. So if we just go here, uh, spigot org. There we go. And we can just use any resource in particular. I mean, I know what mine is, so we'll just go to resources and I'll just show you what you need. So your ID is actually going to be this number that comes, well, this number right here. It's gonna be the number that comes after the period. So it should only be, I think it should only be five at least right now. Uh, it might be longer in the future. So let's just go to clan so it's easier to see. So right here, we would use 42608. So just, you need that. Uh, mine for my better bags plugin is actually four or three four seven four three uh, and then inside of here we are going to go ahead and just do dot get bytes and then we want to just call utf dash eight which is pretty much pretty standard uh, language on the internet or yeah next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and say string version if I can spell string version and then from here we're going to do a new buffer reader and this is going to be a new input stream reader and we're going to say connection dot get input stream and then we're going to go past that and we're going to say read oops read line so we want to go at the very end there and say read line. Then what we can do is we can say if version dot length, oops, dot length, and we can say is greater, and we'll say this is our version is 1.4. So if it's greater than 1.4, we want to go ahead and just say this dot get server dot get council sender dot send message and again I use this so I can use color so I can see it very easily and we'll say dot red 
you do not have the most updated version of Better Bags. And obviously this isn't the Better Bags plugin, um, but you would get the point. Else, if it is, you can say, we can just copy this down to here, make this green and say, Better Bags is fully updated or something like something along those lines. Uh, then we're just going to copy this down into here and we're just going to make a catch statement. We're actually going to change this to yellow because it's not really super bad, but this is going to be super bad. And we'll say could not make connection to spigotmc.org. And we'll just pop a nice big error right there. All right, so this pretty much is all set now. So if we go ahead and save this, and if we exit, yeah, well, render or build our plugin here. And if we throw this right inside of our version chart, uh, we have to put this in our on enable. And now you can make this so whenever an operator joins the server, uh, it'll send them a message that, you know, this is not the most updated version, so that way someone can take care of it. Uh, but for now, we're just going to do it on the on join. And okay, so I'm actually going to close my IntelliJ down and I'm going to boot up Minecraft and my server. So basically, we actually want to change this up. We don't want this to actually be values because this is only going to show us the length of it. And that's only going to say if it's how many letters or characters it's contained. We actually just want to say if version dot equals and then we'll just grab whatever version this version is going to be so if it does not equal this this version and we'll say 1.4.1 1. was the most recent version at that time then we'll just go ahead and export this we'll reload we can see their bags is fully updated but we'll say if it doesn't equal 1.4 Let's go ahead and reload. And you can see we do not have the most updated version of Better Bags. So this is just a really simple way that you can go ahead and check a web or check really any Spigot plugin um, to see if you have the most updated version. So this could be good if maybe another plugin doesn't have this built in and you want to build it into your plugin so you can get an update when certain plugins on your server um, are not most updated. So that way you can get the most updated version. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub, and I'll put this private string key in the description. So thanks for watching. See you guys on.